What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, back on Dueling Book with an entertaining duel for you guys to check out. This one is fairly competitive as we have Sky Strikers facing off against Performa Pal Pendulum. It's been a little while since we've seen Performa Pals, and this is definitely a like a, it's a it's a real true Performa Pal build. You guys are gonna see some old favorites. Unfortunately, no Monkey Board. Rest in peace. Maybe Monkey Board should come back. That's you know what? That's probably a different topic for a different video. Anyways, he does open up with uh, Wisdom Eye, and then that turns itself into purple poison anytime you have wisdom eye plus another magician i think you're in pretty good position if you're a pendulum player but it actually is going to get significantly better as he pendulum summons four and one of those is like harmonizing so that's going to summon another monster now his opponent is going to hit him with that ash blossom here's the problem though even though he does stop harmonizing dude still has like four monsters on board and he's going to be able to you know now resolve his pendulum sorcerer it's not like you can ash this too and this means he's going to be able to get two new cards so i don't know maybe you should have asked that either way i think he was a little boned here but he's going to get lizard draw and guitar turtle those are old school uh performances and pals pepe cards and uh those used to be like the shit back in the day now he's able to go for electromite draw some more cards and he's actually going to get a couple of rank fours on the field wouldn't you know this is gonna be kind of dope goes for tornado dragon and then another performances and pals format favorite that is trap tricks reflasia man bosh was such a good set 2015 if i'm not mistaken those were some really those were some uh some good times man but uh yeah you don't see this card summoned all that much you saw it a ton at the beginning of well the first half of arc v especially when breaker of shadows came out and it can be pretty solid but against the sky striker matchup this is just uh, these two exceeds which should be incredibly good against like ultra guys or against like goki where you could like i don't know bottomless the assault not going to be doing all that much in this matchup because uh there's just not many opportunities like you get the a the area zero and if you do tornado dragon it okay your opponent just summons ray and then if you try to bottomless array they're just gonna tag it out for a sky striker you know link monster and then you really haven't got anywhere because when you kill the link the ray comes back anyway so i don't really know if uh, these monsters are that good against this deck in particular and the fact that he got a metaphors fusion in the graveyard that definitely doesn't help so i feel like he's just going to be able to play around this board actually rather easily pot and egg nine is in the grave and let's actually check his spell count Ooh, that is bad because he used terraforming so that's uno dos tres now he has three copies of uh spells in his grave that means yeah mobilizing gauge is now a plus one he's going to be able to use afterburner potentially take out reflasia and i think his opponent actually is just going to scoop here yeah he's like and he's like i'm done cap <laughs> i'm not going to come back from that and i don't uh i completely understand the scoop phase and this is actually a, a two out of three so you guys are going to be able to see a real you know official Yu-Gi-Oh duel and um pendulums are up again they're going first and it's looking pretty good he should be able to summon electromite here at the very least you know maybe be able to get that draw effect he activates the effect and uh, unfortunately bam he got smacked by that copy of uh ghost ogre but he was able to recover and this is what we like to call the gg no recard against sky strikers if you summon aturia beast and your opponent has not sided out some type or has not sided in i don't know like impermanence or something like that you basically just lose this card maybe if you have ray and then you have like darkest diablos you can get over it but outside of that that card will basically beat your entire deck so he honestly, he honestly just saw the Naturia beast realize i can't kill it and i'm scooping he opens with um this is the first duel where sky strikers are going first and looks like he has the upstart opening and if we were in the ocg this would be so much better you go upstart 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 and then activate mobilize engage and draw another card from that but unfortunately we don't have the luxury of three upstarts and who knows if you'd open with them anyway so let's see he went for multi-roll activated it and hornet drones hit the grave uh widow anchor hit the grave as well and then mobilize engage gets him his plus i think he's gonna summon blue boy it's a shame he didn't have that before he would have really got to that three um that three spell threshold a lot quicker searches out alistair the invoker he's got all the spell casters in her all the little engines with a uh, spell book of knowledge and the invoked and all that good stuff so at this point with so many cards in his grave i mean it's like he can just basically put back whatever from multi-roll he's going to go ahead and he gets the mobilize engage plus i believe he set the widow anchor as well so this is not bad however if that widow anchor was to get sniped this could actually become very bad and that's exactly what happens he's going to snipe it with cosmic cyclone now this is reminiscent of the maxi challenge you guys remember those the good old days in the tcg <laughs> this is what we like to call the shared ride challenge when you summon dark worm and you're looking 
looking to search and your opponent says shared rider, you just say, fuck it, I'm going for it. <laughs> you say, I ain't scared of no, no stinking shared ride. So he's just going to keep on searching because he activates that duelist alliance. At that point, I knew. I was like, okay, he has to pretty much go for the OTK. But boom, he gets smacked upside the head by Twin Twister. GG no re. Or is it GG no re? Okay, we'll see. He does draw a card from Electromite, but unfortunately, he gets the Pendulum summon so many cards, and he activates the Donkey effect as well. Now, keep in mind, this is where Performer Pals can be tricky. Since he did Pendulum summon a bunch of Performer Pals, the Pendulum Sorcerer uh, Pendulum effect, which honestly I like barely ever read during when Pendulum, uh, when Pepe was like really a good deck. When Performers and Pals were played, I hardly ever read this effect, but it gives all the Performer Pal monsters on the field that were special summoned a thousand attack boost. So this is actually looking real because three of these monsters are Performer Pals and that's 3,000 extra free damage. So maybe your boy can actually pull off this FTK. He's going going to summon deco talker and he actually did use this guy right here the horseradish effect he targeted shizuku and then he targeted his own pendulum sorcerer and what this actually does is it gives um it well it gives this guy the pendulum sorcerer 1500 attack because it gives it attack equal to its current attack which is 500 plus the 1000 it got from pendulum sorcerer and then this guy actually or this girl actually loses 1500 now i think that he did do an illegal play here where he normal summoned again we'll just take that back but overall he actually has enough damage and his opponent's going to find out really really shortly that he has enough damage to game him he's going to tag out the uh the um the sky striker ace ray for kagari which actually means he takes battle damage maybe if he didn't do that he would have actually not lost here <laughs> but this is 1500 attack and this is 4000 attack because again it's 1500 attack plus 1000 plus 1500 attack so that would be 1500 plus 1500 is 3000 plus 1000 he's just basically telling his opponent and he actually pulls off the the otk and there were a lot of people i didn't even realize that there were like uh 25 people watching this duel so you know performer pals man they might be the next zodiac okay i'm just joking anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the duel if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos